Good day, baseball fans. Today on Bad Hop Baseball, I'm going to pick a random card from my collection of baseball cards. And together, we're going to research and discover what we can about that player. It's called Look Em Up. All right, here we go. It's as simple as this. Do, 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 do. And let's see what we come up with. Looks like we've got Joey Cora. Da, 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 da. Let's see what we can find out about Joey Cora. Jose Manuel Cora Amaro, a.k.a. Joey Cora. Major League Baseball player, born May 14, 1965, Caguas, Puerto Rico. He was the first infielder I ever saw who practiced diving for balls. He was one of those guys who got to the park very early and worked his tail off to stay ready for any situation. He went all out, all day, and had a lot of fun doing it. Matt Marullo. For 11 seasons, Joey Cora played in the MLB for the San Diego Padres, Chicago White Sox, Seattle Mariners, whoop, whoop, and the Cleveland Indians. Second base was his primary position. I played second base in high school, too. You might say great minds think alike, eh? I'm not a superstar or anything. I'm just the kind of player who's going to be there doing what I did last season. Be a backup. Work hard. They call you, go and do the job. That'll be my role. I really enjoy it. I'm that type of guy. A kamikaze type of guy. Wherever they put me, I'll go after it hard. Whatever they ask me to do, I'll be ready. Joey Cora. Joey went to high school at the Baptist College of Caguas, graduating at 16 years old with a 3.97 GPA. Smart cookie. Cora once said, the only reason I didn't get the 4.0 is because of the B I got in Christian education. And the reason I got the B was we had to go to chapel every Thursday and I didn't go. He wound up attending the University of Puerto Rico where he pursued a career in track and field at his family's request. Boy, am I glad he decided on baseball instead. What would the baseball world be without little Joey? Well, one day in June of 1986, the world almost lost Joey Cora altogether. Down in San Antonio, Texas, where Joey played a game for the Beaumont Golden Gators, words were exchanged with fans who later ganged up on Joey by the team bus after the game. They assaulted him, stabbing him once in the stomach and once in the arm. Fortunately, Joey recovered after six weeks on the disabled list. One of the fiends who attacked Cora was caught and charged with attempted murder, 29-year-old Jose Puente. Playing for the White Sox, Joey contributed immensely to the success of teammate Frank Thomas, who batted after him. Joey was a patient hitter who regularly worked the count to allow Frank to get a good look at the pitcher's stuff. Then, Joey would get on base any way he could, and Frank would hit him in. Now is the fun part, the Mariners years. Joey Cora signed with Seattle in April 1995. He hit a hot streak of 24 games straight with a base hit, which became a Mariners record and an American League record for switch hitters. Oh yeah, he was a switch hitter by the way. Impressive. In 97, he made it on the AL All-Star team along with seven other Puerto Ricans and had a superb season hitting 300 with 11 home runs and 54 RBI. I get excited when I play a regular season game, but an all-star game, this is it. Until you're here, you don't understand. There's no way I would trade this for anything, Joey Cora. Ken Griffey Jr. said of Joey Cora, his teammate, Before he was chosen, we were all asked if Joey Cora was an all-star, and we all said he deserves to go. He's worked hard at this sport. He's a quiet player, but he's a spark plug. It is fun just to watch him every day diving for balls, hustling. Mariners fans will recall lovingly Game 5 of the 1995 ALDS where Joey bunted safely to first base while diving to avoid the tag in the bottom of the 11th with the game on the line, leading to Edgar Martinez's game-winning double. When the Mariners went on to lose the ALCS, Cora was seen in the dugout crying with Alex Rodriguez putting his arm around him, leading to this comical advertisement the following season. Joy, are you okay? You hurt so much to lose. We played so hard, we came so close. I know, I know. Don't take it so hard, Joy. 
So do you think I'm overreacting? Yeah, just a little. It's only the third game of spring training. The 1996 Seattle Mariners. You gotta love these guys. Young ladies across the Pacific Northwest found Cora's sensitive side rather attractive and would often hold up signs at Mariners home games in the Kingdom reading, Marry me, Joey. Teach me your ways, Mr. Cora. A somber 1998 season where the Mariners had little hope of making the playoffs led to Cora's trade to the Cleveland Indians. He didn't get much playtime and ultimately signed with the Toronto Blue Jays and then without playing a game decided to hang up his spurs and retire. Cora always wanted to become a big league manager. My dream wasn't to be a major league baseball player. My dream always, when I was little, was to be a big league manager, he said. He's currently working his way up the ladder as a third base and infield coach for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Here's to you, Joey. Go get him. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, hit the bell to keep up to date on the latest from Bad Hop Baseball. I plan to make this look em up game a regular thing. Hopefully you enjoyed it and soon there will be more. Uh, there's a few videos you ought to check out that are on the screen now. And again, thank you for watching.